Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Elegant Farmer. This is an 8-inch apple pie baked in a paper bag. I had never heard of this before. And then uh, Michael in Wisconsin told me um, on Facebook that he was going to send us one. And uh, so he had it delivered to us. It was in a, a cooler uh, because it has to um, it has to be frozen and so you keep it in the freezer until you're ready to bake it oh that's how it looks hmm. so what you do is you take this whole thing and you put it on a baking sheet you know lay it right there so it says preheat oven to 325 which we have place frozen pie in bag on baking sheet in bag and warm for 50 to 60 minutes. Do not let bag touch the sides of the oven or heating elements. And you can reheat it. And when you slice it, you want to use a serrated knife or an electric knife. We'll use a serrated knife. Um, the calories, one tenth of the pie is 370 calories. So you're supposed to get 10, uh, 10 131 gram pieces. So, I am going to put this in the oven. I'll probably put it in there for 55 minutes and then we'll be back. I just want to show you, this is what it looks like. It came out of the oven 55 minutes. Um, looks like it kind of collapsed a little bit right there in the corner. We can kind of see what it looks like. But anyway, um, once this cools off just a little bit, we'll uh, open it up and slice it up and then I'll, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to take this whole thing and pick it up and move it over here. And you can see it left a greasy, greasy section there. So it doesn't give any other instructions. So I'm assuming you just pull this back. So let me show you, do you see all that? That is grease in my, that is on my hands, but you have to take that bag off um, because you're gonna have to store it somehow. You're gonna have to move this to a plate or something like that. So I'm gonna wash my hands off real quick and I'll be back. So I think I'm gonna take it from right here because we want to have some crust on it. That's good. And so let me uh, see if we can show you how it looks on the inside. This is how it looks. And so Kevin and I will be back to try these. Okay. Tammy's looking at the ingredients. Um, it has lard in the crust, so I'm sure that's where the grease comes from. <laughs> well, I, I, and the paper is gonna suck up anything that, that leaks out of it. Right, so. right. Got a good taste though. I like the um, I like the crust is good and crispy. Good mm -hmm. apple um, apple cinnamon flavor. Yeah, I love the flavor of the apples and the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And you could smell the cinnamon. You could smell it, but it's not it's not too strong. And they also used a lot of sugar mm -hmm. as well as oh, cinnamon. Yeah. So it's a really it you're not just getting cinnamon powder. You are getting a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. a lot of sweetness too. That is really good. The um, hot mm. crust too, you can't beat the crust. A good pie depends on a good crust. That's a good crust. That crust is incredible. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried the back yet. That's what I just tried. And it's almost like a, I don't want to say a powder, but it, it almost, mm. it, it just, it's just the perfect, it's, it's flaky. Yeah, it's very flaky. Yes, it's flaky and mm. light, but it has an excellent flavor to it. That is good. I like that. No, that's very, very nice. So apples the, are good tender. The too. only negative that I would say is once you get it out of the oven, getting that bag off around the edge because it's um, there's gonna it's gonna get all over your fingers and it just <laughs> it feels gross and, yeah. you know because it's greasy. They used a lard. 
but once you're past that and you have just the pie itself on a plate, um, it's perfect and that has a wonderful flavor. It is. I wonder, now we waited just a little while to take the bag off and stuff. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we'd taken it straight off right as it came out of the oven when it was still warm and stuff. Then again, it might've been hot. <laughs> it would've been too hot to cool. Yeah, so. We had to wait for it to cool a little bit. Yeah. The There's no way because you saw how I had to lift it up. Oh yeah, that's true. It, it would have been way too hot. Yeah, that's it would have been like lava on the inside. Yeah, you're right. So you have to wait for it to cool off before you can even. Yeah, that's uh, true. I hadn't thought it. about that. So no, it's just gonna be. It's just it's if you want a really good flavored pie, you just sometimes you have to deal with things like that. Right. Um, but I think this is absolutely mm -hmm. delicious. I think it's neat. Uh, we had never heard of this before, so. We really appreciate Michael sending it to us um, because some people that watched, um, I showed it during a vlog, the unboxing, or I showed it out of the box, and a lot of people said, oh my gosh, I can't believe he sent you one of those. Those are awesome pies. So I'm very glad that we got to, to try it. So yeah, it is excellent. Thank you again to Michael. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. They, uh, you can order online. I mean, he ordered this uh, for us and had it sent to us. So um, it's called the Elegant Farmer, and they're in Wisconsin. So if you do a, um, well, you know what? I'll put a link to their website in the description box below this video, and then you can click on it from there if you want. And I don't get anything out of that. I'm just, I'm doing that so that if you all want to look it up, you can have easy access to their website. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.